Hey guys, welcome to Four Wheel Drive Bass and TV. I'm your host Garrett Brown, and uh, today I got a pretty good video for you guys. I'm just gonna go over some baits I was using. Um, I'm up north catching some smallmouth in the Muskokas, Huntsville area. Um, so just a few things to use for smallmouth that seem to be my go-to baits. Um, help you have a lot of fun, and the smallmouth up there just fight like hell. So um, yeah, so here's a few few things you can try out and uh, hopefully you catch more fish because of it. So uh, first thing here I got is uh, the popper. I believe it's from Rebel, the original popper. And uh, as you can see here, this is just a very, very small, subtle bait. I love having this feathered tail on the back treble. It just seems to catch more fish for me. And uh, I just got this paired up with a Fenwick HMX and a Shimano Symmetry reel. Uh, it's a seven foot or seven foot six uh, light action or medium light action. So it's just a good combo. You can make a long cast with it, and uh, just ten pound braid. Um, you want that no stretch to get a good hook set, but you want that nice flimsy rod to help those head shakes and when they jump, uh, help them keep them buttoned up. So yeah, that's my first. Uh, First tactic, you'll see in my video, I think the first fish I got missed the top water, I threw it back and it hit it right away. So if you get a fish blow up on a top water, always cast back to it because it might actually strike the second time or the third time. Um, so just don't give up on that fish because of one miss. Um, I lost several fish or missed several fish that blew up, but I couldn't, couldn't get hooked up again um, after they struck once, but it does happen every once in a while. Next thing, I love fishing a jig. And uh, I'm a huge largemouth fisherman, but I love catching smallmouth because they fight like crazy. But uh, a lot of guys think that a jig is only for largemouth, flipping docks, flipping like dunking deep weeds, stuff like that. But uh, for me, I've kind of figured out the last few years that if you just really downsize and match the hatch, um, you can catch a lot more fish. So basically what I have here is I've got a, a 3 8 ounce uh, flipping jig that I've turned into a finesse jig. So you can see that there, it's real small profile and it's got the perfect jig, baby chunk trailer. Um, and I'm pairing that up on 20 pound braid on a Veritas, uh, it's a 6 foot 9 medium heavy with a Sitka 7 to 1 gear ratio. Um, and I usually throw a 20 pound fluorocarbon leader on there um, just to help with the visibility in the clear water, the fish can't see it as well. But yeah, that's my, uh, that's my setup and uh, honestly just dragging the jig along the bottom pitching it around boulders and deeper water for smallmouth they just seem to hang out there and for whatever reason they just seem to uh, they seem to feed on crayfish all year round and the jig is definitely something to match the hatch especially when you get a good good uh, greenish orange brown color you always seem to uh, seem to do well with them so um, yeah try out throwing a jig it's a lot it's a lot of fun there's not, nothing like getting a fish that just thumps a jig and you set that hook home and yeah, get them in the boat, and a lot of times they'll stay buttoned up, which is a lot of big problems with smallmouth jumping. So, yeah, try that out, and uh, let me know how it works for you. And uh, third thing I got here is just it's a brand new bait. Um, the last few years, uh, it's the Jackal Rhythm Wave. It's a 3.8 uh, inch little swim bait, and uh, got it paired up with a Gamakatsu. Uh, three sixteenth ounce swim or uh, round ball jig head, and it just has a great stout hook, very sharp, very strong, and that tail just has a wicked action. I got this; it's kind of like a a ghost green pumpkin with a little bit of a blue fleck, just perfectly for matching the minnows up there. They're kind of kind of feeding on shad and minnows all year round. Um, they tend to get bigger in the later in the year, but. This is just seems to be the perfect uh, perfect size for the smallmouth up there. Um, and I got that paired up on a Team Daiwa. It's a seven foot uh, medium action spinning rod. And I got it on a Sahara 2500 spinning reel. And this is 10 pound uh, braid. I believe it's Seaguar Kansan braid. I'm not sponsored or anything. I'm just telling you what I'm using. But uh, yeah, you just cast this out, let it sink a bit, and just slowly retrieve it. Every once in a while you might be able to stop it or hop it up and down, but you just kind of want to just keep a steady retrieve. And it's very important having the fluorocarbon leader on there because um, the fish up there with this being such a clear, clear water up at 
northern Muskokas and stuff like that, they just they'll follow this bait for a while, right? So they'll they'll very they're gonna look at it, they're gonna analyze it, they're gonna see if it's real or not. And having that fluorocarbon leader just helps them not see the line. Um, so yeah, that's definitely uh, definitely a tactic and uh, setup you're gonna want to have up north. Um, so yeah, stay tuned. I got a few uh, fish catches on film and. Uh, Hopefully you enjoy it. If you do, like and subscribe to my channel. And uh, yeah, until next time, take it easy.